Hi, my name's Maria Miller, and I'm a senior at Scott Catholic. I like the word. Come on. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. Uh, and this poem is titled Cinnamon. Whenever he needed me, he would drive over to my house and wait outside. No matter how many feet of snow stationed themselves on my winding drive every time, I'd make hot chocolate sprinkled carefully with cinnamon. He would gaze up at the stars, and with his mismatched voice and thesaurus mouth, he would tell me about astronomy. He spewed numbers and sizes about the ever-expanding universe like the computers who spend the duration of their lives calculating pi. The stars proved to him that he was an insignificant figure lost in an endless black sky of numbered planets and abuse. He'd talk about life like an unavoidable horoscope, death written in his stars. If only I had read them, instead of scanning his body for new bruises, painted on his skin like constellations, or black holes ripped raggedly into his wrists that we didn't talk about the night he came crying because his dad had made it very clear that his daughter was not going to cut his hair like some dyke. I added extra cinnamon to his hot chocolate and told him that sometimes men have long hair too, and maybe that was okay. Too long blonde hair sticking to his hardened face, he locked his dew-covered eyes, leaned in, and with his ill-fitting voice told me that he loved me. I asked him to leave. He looked at me the way he always did, took the kind of breath that ties a knot in the divot where your neck meets your collarbones and gathered his last words before they tumbled out of his trembling lips. If that's what you want, I'm sorry. The day a letter arrived in the mail with nothing but for Maria written on the front in careful black ink, I didn't open it, I made hot chocolate. I filled his navy cup to the brim, but when my hand shook a little too much, the pieces of the ceramic puddled at the tile at my feet, I was told there would be no funeral and I never read that note. I poured its ashes into a small glass bottle, carefully sprinkled cinnamon over the still smoking gray remains that may as well have been his. That aging bottle still sits on my desk. It smells like death, like spice, like all I have left of him, like regret, like his blood staining my feeble hands, like, like his I love you. I wish I could have honestly returned, like every no I forced into a shirt because I was worried they'd be the next bottle decorating my desk, like a thousand dead friend poems and angsty obituaries that smells like cinnamon. In a constellation lost to the numbers, and no amount of stargazing will ever bring back.